<laughs> to think I'd see you here. Did you just come here to mock me? Is that what this is? <clears throat> it's been a while, hasn't it? <sighs> I remember last time. When was it? How long has it been since I've been locked up here? <laughs> it seems this time we're on the opposite sides of the bars, though it still remains to be seen who these bars are really protecting, wouldn't you say, detective? <laughs> our little game, our interaction, our relationship, what does it mean to you now? You're just an investigator. A ghoul investigator now. Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> Maybe I would have been proud of you before all of this. What? What does it all mean? When you look at me with those eyes. Filled with... So many emotions. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? You're wasting your time talking to me. For what? For what? <laughs> Didn't you say I was the one beyond help? <laughs> no. I think we both know you're the one that needs help. As much as I do. It's just not the same. Not anymore. You look at me like I'm a chain beast. And for all intents and purposes, maybe I am now. Does that bring you joy? I can't hurt you or anyone. <laughs> Even though you're the one hunting us like dogs. Have you ever tried looking in the mirror, seeing what your life is? I know, we got along because we went to the same college. We went to the same places, the same coffee shop, the same everything. And it was you who started it. Everything. This whole chain around my neck. It's yours. In symbolism. Quite literally. So just how am I supposed to see it now? Being on opposite sides of these bars. You are the one who made all this happen. Yet I'm kind of wrong to blame you for it. Aren't I? If I did, I'd be a hypocrite. Because I know what it's like to stand stand on the other side to be free and i'm sure i don't like it but sometimes sometimes we need to do things even when we don't like it <laughs> so what's that you bringing the key to taunt me with or are you going to let me out and then what everyone will turn on you like they turned on me when I saved your life. Are you repaying some guilty favor? Or is just this some form of poetry in motion? You always did have a thing for it. The tragedy in what we stood for. You expect me to just trust you. <laughs> That'd be a funny joke. If it wasn't so sad, there's no trust left. Nothing. You are nothing to me right now. And you just expect it. I almost pity you right now. You think things can just go back as if people didn't disappear 
end up locked in cages and put away. Frozen. Maybe worse. <laughs> Do you remember my best friend? What happened? We were on opposite sides and he believed in me. Everything this stood for, everything I stood for, died that day. You know what happens. You lost your path before me. You have no reason to judge me. <laughs> so that's how it is then. You must be crazy. <laughs> What happened to calling me a monster? The one-eyed king. I never wanted that. You know that. And still, <laughs> taking the chains off. Did you think I wouldn't devour you right here? And so what? Never have doesn't mean never will. You look at me, with those eyes filled with something akin to love and hate. I can't tell what it is, but the story, the story you are writing, it doesn't make any sense. It's like you scrambled everything together. It just doesn't make sense. You came too late. Do you know what happened? When I was taken, what happened with Jason? You, you know, you were there. You found me way back then, right before I joined Valkyrie. That was the beginning of everything, wasn't it? And even if you thought you were in the right, you abandoned me. You're taking joy in this, not taking my threat serious. But you're right. Until we get outside, I guess you'll survive. But what happens then? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you what it feels like to have a centipede in your ear. <laughs> you don't know that. You think you know me. But what do you know? You abandoned me. All this time. And you say you are protecting me. From what? Myself? Is that what you see me? That lost of a cause. <laughs> That's one way to handle things. Lazy, cruel, I love you, but I hate you. What does it mean? You think after all this, we're still fucking dating? I have to admire that level of self-serving logic. <clears throat> what? Back to your old ways. You never were very tactful when it came to things like this. Blowing the whole wall up. <laughs> Can't say I'm not surprised. <clears throat> so, why is it you're going so far for me? You really still hold those feelings? And what's that supposed to mean? that I do too. Do you have any idea what I've been through because of you? Feelings mutual. Are you taking any of this serious? It doesn't seem like it. You're as deranged as me. You've got just as much blood, if not more, on your hands. Yet you take the stance of having more. More ethical glory. More poetic justice. What is justice? When both sides 
are nothing more than opinions. You know, my favorite books, they always had tragedy, but I never thought it'd be so impossible to live through one myself. This is nostalgic. Why here? You always know how to get under my skin. Why shouldn't I kill you? After everything we've been through, the distance between us, and you act like we were away for a day trip. I haven't seen you in two fucking years. So why now? Why tonight? You... You're strange. I'd think you'd been sick of me. After I almost did worse to you. That day, I had a chance a moment. I thought I was doing something right. Cleansing. Making things right the only way I thought would work. Twisted. By weakness. After everything with Mother. With Jason. I saw only one path. And now, I do regret it. But what's the point? What can regret even mean? Are you trying to say that you regret almost ending me? Locking me away? Betraying me? Are you going to say it was all for my own good? <sighs> I'll give you points for consistency. If only I could believe those words. Here. You finish. Yeah. I've lost my appetite. If you could call it that. Your place. And just what would I gain by going there? You set me free. I'm a wanted criminal. Isn't that where they would look? You're probably wanted now too. It's not going to take the detectives very long to figure it out. Ghoul investigators aren't stupid. But sometimes I think you take them for granted. At this point, I can't tell whose side you're on, what your game plan is. I'd almost say you're almost as crazy as me. I can't say that's not attractive. If anything, the tension we have, <laughs> it's been building for two years. I missed you. I love you. I hate you. Everything in between. So, what is it you want? Things to go back to normal, right? It's not just that easy. You can't just have have the cake and eat it too. It's impossible. You're greedy. I never did mind that about you when things were working out, but now, now it's different. Well, since you won't take no for an answer, I don't really have any other plans at this moment. I might as well hide out at your place. Take advantage of everything I can. See? I'm still that bastard you knew back then. Aren't I? Demonizing myself? No. I'm just being honest. We're both demons at this point. Beyond saving, beyond grace. And what does that mean? Other than the opinions we hold when we look in the mirror. 
Does it mean I can't kiss you? <laughs> Somehow I knew you'd say that. <laughs> You were asking for it. That's why I knew you'd say yes. It's because ever since you met me, even just in this short meeting period, you had the same look back when you first fell in love with me. Back before I knew what a ghoul was, let alone was one. You. You just don't get it. But in some way, that kiss was all the fucking understanding I needed. Just not as much as I wanted. Maybe you can help amend that, open a new chapter, and see where this twisted, psychotic relationship ends up between us. I'd say we both lost it a long time ago. But that wouldn't be true. Because I'm still in your arms somehow. <sighs> Kill you or kiss you. I can't decide. What's more befitting? Two years. And nothing changed. <laughs> Except for you. What's this? Maybe. You seem even more flustered than that. Did you miss me that much? Or is this just another phase of your plan to toy with me? <sighs> this game of cat and mouse would be poetic justice. If only I could figure out which one of us is the cat and which one is the mouse. <laughs> Look at you. Are you afraid or excited? Your next reaction reminds me of myself when we first met. Like our roles were switched in this Madden story. What now? <laughs> You're such a sloppy kisser, you know that. Do I love you? Do I hate you? Are you the protagonist, antagonist, or deuterologist? <sighs> I suppose I'll have to do some investigating. Do you just enjoy this madness? I suppose it's a silly question, given the madness you've subjected me to today. Alone, over the years, your incessant protection, while locking me away like a songbird. When in reality, you are my crux, my need, my hate, my driving factor, the one I needed revenge and wanted to give a hug the most. I simply couldn't decide and still can't, but I want both, which must make me just a bit less deranged than before. When I truly hated without loving, I lost a piece of myself that I seemed to gain back each time our lips touch, each time the warmth of our bodies meet. <laughs> like a distant memory, Atop a mound of horrible thoughts, 
the good and the bad I can't. They're both so perfectly entwined, like vines running up the side of a decaying house. You're everything and nothing to me. This relationship shouldn't even exist, but it does. What now? <laughs> that sloppiness of yours. I find it attractive. My little poem. My... My last breath, my kiss, the hands around my neck, or the warmth around my heart. I wonder which suits you the most, and I just can't figure it out. Are you mine, even still? My enemy, my love. No. It's more like you're both, both at the same time. I wish I could explain how, but I think only this kiss, these hands, can convey such complex confliction. <sighs> Now we seem to have a conflict of interest between us. I said I would kill you. <laughs> but I think I might still, even now, love you too much for something so terrible. Instead, <laughs> perhaps... I'll kill you with love. I'll love you so much. <laughs> you won't be able to breathe. Baby. <laughs> this strange, impossible feeling. Everything points in every direction. And yet, when I see you, when I feel you, I want more. <clears throat> when you look at me in the eyes like that, I can see it. The glimpse of hope, what you're wishing for, is written all over your body. Written all over every inch. <laughs> and yet still, I know what you want. is something simple, like we used to do. Our foreheads pressed against each other, our noses touching. The way we can just... breathe and have a moment. That we're not too broken for love, for some form of redemption that we don't even need. I never wanted to be anything, but everything fell apart. How did we fall so far? Hmm. You're still my poem, my favorite work of art. Literature in motion, a story unfolding with every page more beautiful than the last. And every time I get lost in your gaze, it reminds me why I love and hate you. Why I can't just make an easy decision. Why we're stuck in between. This shaky feeling, 
I know it's no different for you. But still, we end up back where we started in a giant circle. One that always ends bittersweet. Shall I ask? This cute little poem. Mine. My poem. The story written in your eyes, on your lips, in those sharp breaths. <laughs> You're every bit as desperate and deranged as me. Do you want me to kiss you? Or do you want me to end you? <laughs> I suppose our definition of such vulgar words only makes things more intense the more we end up closer the more we entwine <laughs> The more sloppy your kiss gets. You were always mine. And I was always yours. Together forever, till death do us part. Only who gets to say that? In the end, does that promise make me the author, the protagonist, or the villain? <sighs> Perhaps the flavor on your lips, on your tongue, can give me a hint to break this writer's block, to write our story in saliva and sweat. <sighs> For such a work of art, you certainly have your weaknesses. Those small quirks the cracks at the seam that make you feel so real, that make the emotions, the passions in the poetry gazing in your eyes like daggers straight to my soul, ones that burn and ache and want every moment, every inch, every breath as my poem, mine to write, mine to destroy, and mine to make ecstasy. was my misconception of the arts. I thought I understood the poem that you are, the words at face value. But in truth, I was the one flustered. I was the one breathless, left in the dark of what I truly desired most of all. <laughs> the tears in your eyes and mine making a mess. The proof that we missed each other, along with the drool, along with the heat. The slight glimpses of sweat, bead by endless bead. The poetry and motions of our bodies aching for more. Our souls 
craving the love and hate that we have for only each other. The perfectly imperfect relationship that refuses to die or end. That's what we are. Together. You. And I.